Hello everyone, it's Kelly Day coming to you live from my art office in Colorado and I just wanted to check in with those of you today who are feeling the calling of fall coming up and wanting to get your art going again but maybe it's been a long time since you've done your art and you're feeling a little bit tired from life and not sure how to get it going again. So um, I just spoke with someone recently in this situation and I wanted to reach out to all of you because I know that fall is such a great time to start thinking about your art and getting cozier and it's coming up. Um, so for those of you who haven't done art in a really long time and who have had you know a lot of things going on in life, maybe you're tired, maybe you've been taking care of elderly, um, maybe you've been taking care of your partner. Uh, you know, a lot of times it can be hard to get going when you haven't been feeding yourself, when you haven't been feeding your soul. I'm gonna stand up here. Um, and your tank is empty because you've been taking care of others and your house and so forth. And it's hard to get going again. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you about is that it's really easy for some people to get into this victim mentality of life has been really hard, I really want my art, but I want it to just happen for me. And, and you know, a long time ago, I had a real wake up call from somebody, and sometimes these things are hard to hear, but I was getting a massage, my marriage had fallen apart, I had a little baby, you've probably all heard the story, um, and I was kind of in that, woe is me, I'm exhausted, I'm taking care of a baby, I don't have a husband, and my massage therapist said to me, you have to let go of being a victim. You could either stay in this mentality of life has been wronged me, life has been hard, or you can decide you're gonna make your life what you want it to be. And that was really hard to hear. I felt a lot of resistance, like I'm not a victim, I'm not doing that. Why did she say that to me? That wasn't supportive, but honestly, it was one of the best things anybody ever said to me. And so I have a real attitude with my students of love and support, but also radical responsibility of you guys are the only ones that can make your art happen. So when I get on the phone with somebody to talk about art mentoring, and they have had a lot of tough things happen, there's two types of women. One I can help, one I can't help. The type I can help are the type of women that are like, I'm gonna find a way no matter what. I'm determined to do my art. If that's you, you're gonna come up with the time, you're gonna come up with the space, you're gonna come up with the money, you're gonna come up with the art supplies, you're gonna get over your hurdles. You are the kind of woman I can help become an artist, a practicing artist, like all of the other ones you see on my website because you have that attitude that you're gonna make it happen and get over your hurdles. The type of women I cannot help are the ones who want it to all fall in their lap without having to make any effort. So I talked with someone recently who has been having a really hard time and has not been supported. And believe me, I feel for that. It is so hard when you've been down and you just need love and support. The hard truth is that you are the only person that can turn things around. And this particular woman felt that she needed love and support but wasn't willing to give herself that. So it starts by saying, okay, you're gonna take care of all these things in your life but you're gonna also reserve time for you. You're gonna also have a boundary that says I have to fill my own tank up or I can't help anyone else around me. For those people who just keep helping everyone else around them to the point of exhaustion and never doing their own art, that life is only going one way. It's going to a life that is exhausting, that's gonna have health problems because you're gonna be drained and tired and depressed. So the it's nobody's responsibility but our own and I know it's hard and I'm not trying to be a hard ass. Believe me, I have been down there in the dirt, as down as you can get. We all have had our moments in life, but you've got to start finding time for your art, finding time, making it happen. If you don't have the money for private art mentoring, that's fine. 
Go to YouTube, take classes, find art teachers that you love, find a friend group, start out. There are small ways to start until you can grow and get your art started again. Sometimes you just have to go step by tiny step, but if you keep moving forward and reserving that sacred art space for yourself, and it will happen, it will grow into an entire art career and that's what happened to me 10 minutes at a time here and there when I had a little baby and I was exhausted that's how my whole art career started so um, I would love to hear from you guys I know this sounds harsh but I'm not helping you with your art if I am just you know encouraging you to say life is hard because life is hard but that doesn't get us anywhere. We've got to pull ourselves up and start taking small steps to make our art happen so we can really enjoy our life. And that's when you get to really start feeling that reward of that excitement of going into your art studio and having made a painting you like, or having just fooled around with colors or doodles or lines and feeling that sense of purpose of doing something you love. Okay, so I'd love to hear your comments. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you are looking for resources for your own art to get your own art going again, I have a YouTube channel that's free. I have a class on my website that's under a hundred bucks that has lots of bonus projects in it. I have a virtual art mentoring program and I have a private art mentoring program. So all budgets, all types, all kinds of options for all of you. I love helping you get your art going again. And if you're ready, to take your art to the next level and you want to work uh, talk about working with me one-on-one -on -one, you're welcome to book an art breakthrough call with me at kellydayart.com forward slash booking it's kelly with an ie dayart.com forward slash booking and we'll get on the phone and we'll talk about what's holding you back and what you need to move forward and if i can help you reach your art dream i'll show you what that looks like Please don't book a call with me if you're just looking for free advice. These are only for call for women who are ready to have radical responsibility and start their art now and determined to make it happen. Those are the women that I can really help. And if that's you, I'd love to talk with you. All right, I hope that provides you guys with lots of options. Have a beautiful day. Go do something for your art today. You're the only one who can do it. Okay, bye.